All right, Raban's office. We're cracking this case today. I better get to Raban's office as quickly and quietly as possible. Does that mean not making small talk? Because that's just not who I am. Looks comfortable enough. A vending machine. Fresh, hot coffee whenever you need it. Just a middle-aged woman doing her job. She's probably well paid if she's a receptionist for Raban's business. And she probably keeps track of the coming and goings of random men. The heater is really blasting. I can feel the warmth over here. Like that's, that's like... She... This elevator leads to Raban's office. I better watch out for the receptionist though. She might recognize that's what I'm talking about. former mayor's son. So if I talk to her, do I break the Please game? Open the elevator doors. Because I'm going to talk to her, you know that, right? No time to relax. Can we get a... Just pushing buttons alone won't help. We got some money for you. I know how to spend money. All right. I could use some coffee. I wish it was hot chocolate, though. Gonna leave our DNA all over this scene. A cup of coffee. Extra sugar. Let's have a cup of joe. Toasty. Coffee in a paper cup. It smells fresh. You know we're gonna need this. This is a point-and-click game. I can't just talk to her. She may recognize me. I need a disguise. All right. Well, do we have any? Do we have anything? Um, we could cut our hair right in front of her. I cut my hair on my own once. It looked terrible. Patricia never let me live it down. Patricia's mean. Let's have some coffee. The idea of drinking coffee Man, sounds that coffee is cozy strong. and warm, but coffee is gross. I'm not good with caffeine. Okay, so we're just gonna walk in. I can't open the elevator with my bare hands. Adorable. Let's click the Not button. Yet. She'll notice me. I need to disguise myself. We already came here. Okay, okay let's leave. Let's leave. We, we we obviously don't have anything disguise worthy on us in our packet. Let's go home. Let's change our clothes into something a little more suitable. But first, now I can look at everything. A few experimental paintings. Not my best work. Don't say that. My work table where I keep my brushes, paints, and other supplies. I guess he can critique his own art. That trash can is always filled with sketches that didn't make it to the canvas. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a bit too critical of myself. A lot of artists are. This is a painting of my old friend Frank. He used to be a professional model. He's still got it. I love this. I want to know everything. A few experimental paintings. Not my best work. My wardrobe. There's stuff in there I've never even worn. That's great. That's great. An unfinished painting of Sarah Zimmer. A German exchange art student. She was an amateur painter and asked if I could tutor her. In return, she was my model. Unfortunately, she never came back to finish the painting. Interesting. Sweet Tamara. One of the nicest models I've ever had in my apartment. She promised she would call me. She never has. This man sounds like a playboy. A few experiments. Just your average bathroom. It could use some cleaning. My old friends Chet Baker and Miles Davis. Pure geniuses. Taste. Just a cupboard with a few supplies. Nothing special. A few... My daughter Patricia. I love her so much. She can be stubborn as hell and knows how to get under my skin. But hey, she's a teenager, right? My bed. Conveniently located next to the kitchen. That's what you get for a cheap loft apartment. Not bad, though. A few... Not much food in there. That's terrible. Always bad. Not much of a kitchen, but... I don't cook anyway. Okay. I like it. Let's go. I don't want to change my clothes right now. We need a disguise! Oh, wait. I have a paintbrush. Can I paint on a mustache? I don't want to paint on myself. Paint belongs on a canvas. Paint this. I'm not in the mood to paint. I have more important things to do. We need a disguise, dude. That's why I came in here. Do you forget what we're doing? We can't sneak in. That card looks very authentic. It is. Just your average bag. Um, I can't believe this, man. We need a disguise. Okay. Can we can we dye our hair with the peroxide? I'm not drinking that. It'll make me sick. I'm not trying to get you to drink it. I'm trying to get you to dye your hair. I'm not drinking. That doesn't belong. He's not thinking like me. We're going to give her the peroxide? Are we going to ask her? Do you know what hydrogen peroxide is? It's a chemical compound, H2O2. 
In its pure form, it's blue, but the stuff you get at the store is watered down to 3%. Wow, how did you know all that? We just took a test on compounds in chemistry. Why am I asking her this question? I'm gonna ask her, want some coffee? You shouldn't drink this. Want some coffee? No thanks, I just had a matcha green tea. Taste. You know it's way better for you, right? So you're all into the healthy lifestyle now? I don't know, I guess. I can't even really drink green tea like that, but I love matcha anything. You know any names in this book? We can just ask her stuff like this? This is so funny. Remember when we used to look up numbers in the phone book and prank call them? <laughs> kind of. We're bonding. Can you cut my hair for me? Can you tell me something about that? If you want to kill someone, you should find a better weapon. That's a little morbid. She ain't wrong. Sorry, Dad. Just saying. <laughs> show her these secret documents. I shouldn't show this to anyone except Judy. Okay, so he does have boundaries. Good. All right. Let's show her the knife. Look at my knife. Can you tell me something about that? Careful. You're going to cut a hole in your pants carrying that thing around. Should I cut a hole in my pants? I, he, 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 what I wanted to... Oh, you want to paint? How about you paint something for me? I'm not really in the mood right now. Sorry. Yeah, you gotta be in the mood, I guess. <laughs> you want some money? <laughs> hey, Patty. Here's a little spending money for you. You don't have to bribe me, Dad. I'm here of my own free will. It's always good to have some pocket change, girl. You want to make a phone call? Do you get reception here? If not, you can borrow my phone. No way. Your phone belongs in a museum. <laughs> That's cute that we can show her all our items. That she has like a unique response to everything. Uh, can she see this? I don't want Patricia to know anything about my investigation. Right, smart. But we're here because we need you to change your clothes. And for whatever reason, you, you're you not paying on a disguise. And I need you to get with the program. I want to put that in there. I want you to put some different clothes on. You don't want to cut or dye your hair. I don't want to change my clothes right now. You need a disguise. Where, like, what? A disguise. The coffee didn't work. He didn't want to cut his hair. Let me paint her eyes. If I start talking to her, she may wreck. What is a good disguise? Can we combine items? I could wet the brush with that, but it wouldn't be of any use. Okay, we can, kind of. Maybe we can... I cut the brush hairs from my brush. We're gonna glue these... We're gonna glue these brush hairs. The he just wasted a paintbrush. We're gonna pin them on our face like it's a mustache. This is ridiculous. We're gonna do it right in front of her, too. The hairs are very bristly. Put them on your face. The hairs are very bristly. All right, we need some kind of glue. Do we have an adhesive of sorts? I want the brush hairs to stick together, but liquid coffee won't work. Hydrogen peroxide won't work either. Pouring hydrogen peroxide on that won't help. What do we have that's sticky? The hairs are small enough. I don't need to cut them any further. We must be missing an item. Let's go back home. We're getting somewhere, because I'm starting to think like... You know. An artist? I don't know. What do we have that's sticky, sir? What a mess. We have. Do we have any glue? Because he's not using his paint. What about, is there like no paint on this is something why would i do such a thing wait what is what was that option put this away excuse me can we what is this down here what a mess oh that's just saying it's a mess he he has paint all over but not what a mess uh, and, and pouring the coffee on the mustache is not doing anything oh maybe my daughter can help me though with this she's very smart What should I do with this? What? A handful of pocket hair? Gross. Keep that to yourself. So <laughs> That's cool, because she's kind of like a little hint person. But there's nothing in my apartment that's nothing sticky. Nothing else useful in there. What, do we, what about toothpaste in your bathroom? That doesn't belong in the bathroom. We do not think the same, you I and I. I can't cook that. I want you to cook this. I only put groceries in the fridge. <laughs> You're making me seem like I'm the crazy one right now. I can't just do that. What is sticky? Is there no tape? Is there no glue? 
So close and yet so far. Did I miss a tape dispenser in here? There's no hotkey that shows you all the clickable items. Like, do you have, like a jar of tape? I love the smell of every war. Does Judy have tape? Maybe she can help me make a disguise. She's helping me break the law. Judy, I got this mustache. I mustache you a question. What should I do with this? Is that hair? I don't want to know where you got that. <laughs> Yo! It's cute that he can ask, like, what should I do with this to people, but... Help me. What should I do with this? Do you want some hydrogen peroxide? Do you know what this is? Hydrogen peroxide? It's a disinfectant. My mom always made me put it on cuts and scrapes. God, I hated that. It burns. Yeah, it does. Um, every child knows. Brief adventure. I'm not gonna show her my weapons. <laughs> Maybe I can ask her, can I cut a piece of your hair for my disguise? What should I do with this? Richard, please don't waste my time. That's all I wanna do, girl. Oh, I can cut her cat of nines. She's not gonna miss these. I don't wanna mess with Judy's stuff. Alright, she is gonna miss those. I, I need tape! I think cat of nines are kind of sticky. Hairs are smaller. Okay, hold on. I don't want to mess with Judy's stuff. Nobody got a tape dispenser. All these offices. He has a whole room of paint. Okay, wait. How do I make this sticky? Is money sticky? Why would I do such a thing? What if we mix the coffee in this? Pouring hydrogen peroxide on that won't help. Do we need to sharpen the knife? That's not the best way to sharpen a knife. Actually. Putting coffee on that won't help. He's making me seem like I'm the crazy one right now. It's not. It's not that way. I hadn't interacted with one thing that could possibly be tape. This is crazy. Or glue. And he won't just wear this on his head. What if I call my daughter while she's right next to me? I just want to see something. What's she gonna do? Why should I call her when she's here? We call Judy. Judy, do you have any tape? Do you have any scotch tape? Do you have any glue? Do you have a disguise I can wear? Do you have a wig? She's gonna let it ring. Hello? Hey, Judy. How are you? I'm fine. What's up? Nothing. Just saying hello. Richard, I'm a little busy at the moment. <laughs> oh, so annoying. Okay. <laughs> oh, I I'll think it's actually kind of sweet. I, I, I think those kind of calls are actually sweet. So, sure. just for the record. Bye. Kind of, it depends on who it is, not not universally. Can I call 911? <gasps> My gosh. All right, let's slow down, let's slow down. This is our paintbrush that we cut up. I'm pretty sure we have to use this as a mustache because we need to disguise. I know, he, he said that, he said, this liquid's not sticky. No, that's not possible. Well, he said it was not I'd sticky not. earlier. I want the brush hairs to stick together, but liquid coffee won't work. But liquid coffee won't work. So, let's go back. I don't know any other types of coffee except for, like, what's not liquid coffee? I feel like the way he said that, maybe I can pit the mustache in this and get it. Why would I do such a thing? I'd rather not. Let's buy a drink that's just sugar, not coffee. I already had some coffee. Work with me here. No time to relax. Oh, if we can, I'm losing my mind. If we can dry out the coffee and like reduce it to just the sugar inside. It's not going to be like that though. It's, it's not going to be this kind of game. Um, I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. Oh, wait. I have to be careful. He said the, the radiator. No need to heat that. We can heat our coffee, right? That's what I'm talking about. And just reduce it to the sugar? I sound... Ugh. It's really... It's actually really something. It's really something. Something's happening in this head. I'm telling you, he's heating up his coffee. Oh, wait, don't leave. To, re to evaporate it, right? Reduce it to just the sugar so it gets all sticky. I know a thing or two. The heat has completely dried the coffee. The only thing left is a sticky, sugary residue. I could not- I was like, this game's not like that. It's literally- it is! It's 100% like that. I cannot believe it. Dried coffee mixed with a lot of sugar. 
very sticky. Very fun. Very fun. I love it. So let's piece like Monkey's together. Island. Voila, a fake mustache worthy of Hollywood. I used to rock a mustache like this back in the nineties. Playing another point and click game. As you can see, we just had one of the, uh, you know, traditional kind of combos. Of course, you have to melt down your coffee to get a sticky, sugary residue so that you can use the paint bristles that you cut and turn them into a mustache to disguise this, yourself from this receptionist. And of course, you're going to do this all right by her. Traditional point and click game things. Okay, so I'm really going to do this. I'm glad there aren't any mirrors around here. <laughs> All right, we're looking stylish. My clothes aren't. Let's talk to her. Good evening, ma'am. Evening. I'm here for a meeting. Could you please show me your employee card? You got oh, it. Of course. Absolutely. There you go. You need my card? What if she needs ID to go with this card? You're all good. Wait a minute. What is it? I know you. You... You do? You're that famous painter. I... <laughs> well... Oh my god, I forgot your name. What is it? Oh, I know! Salvador Dali! Isn't he dead? Your gallery. It was years ago, though. Such beautiful paintings you have there. She thinks uh, I'm Salvador yes. Dali. Thank you. I'm sorry to waste your time, Mr. Dolly. You must have something very important to do upstairs. Yes, a very important meeting. Have a nice day. Goodbye, Mr. Dolly. Goodbye. Just a middle-aged... Wow, she thinks I'm him. Okay, let's go. This game has great attention to detail. Really, really, really well-made game. It's so fun so far. And it's free! It's free on Steam! Who am I calling in the elevator? Hi Richard, what's up? Hey Judy, I made it past the receptionist and I'm in the elevator. Took you long enough. It really did. I had to disguise myself. I'll tell you later. So, where's the office? Let's see. Should be on the top floor. Thanks. Of course. I'll be in touch. Good luck. Usually buildings like this will have the names of the person and the floor that they're on, like... I think the mustache is still on, in the elevator. That would be so funny. Like, use it just to get on the elevator. Wait, did he take it off? It's hard to tell with the pixel. I can't quite get him to face me. We, we need it, though. We got, still gotta exit, so I gotta come back downstairs. Okay. This is a very cold and dead-looking place. Shiny floors. We'll just wa open it up, why don't you? What's in there? Looks like the electrical breaker box for this floor. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to turn the power off. Let's not touch that yet. Let's look around first. The card scanner to get into the office. Got you. This is Raban's office. Okay, wait. Let's touch this now. I'll try to cut off the electricity. Hopefully, that will disconnect the door security lock. Oh, the por the portrait. Oh my gosh, that was Oops. easy. Looks like I turned off the electricity for the whole floor. I'd better act fast before someone comes. Oh, the portrait didn't have it when um, it like showed his face. Okay, yeah, he must have taken it off. That's crazy. It the door is open. We didn't even try to open the door. I just did that. Okay, I gotta move fast. This looks like a little laptop, but I can't tell. No, I need the password. There's no way I'll be able to crack it. I would take it with me to have Judy check it out, but it's fastened to the table. Interesting. Raban's laptop. Okay. Raban's smartphone. He just leaves his phone here? We definitely gotta take that. Raban's phone will really help me. He really doesn't have a smartphone. Better bring this to Judy. Maybe she can track some of his calls. He's just gonna do find my phone, dude. He's gonna know it was you. Everything in this room looks expensive. Nothing useful here. See, I don't know if this is real life timed. Raban doesn't represent America. He's poisoning this country. Nothing useful here. Nothing useful. I'll just leave it there. Could be something behind that flag. My clothes aren't. Excuse me, I wasn't trying to click on you. Nothing useful. Okay. A huge window. You can see the whole city from here. 
Wow, what a view. It makes you think. The kind-hearted, honest people of this world live in shacks, while the liars and murderers own everything. Politics my ass. Dude, I'm I... glad I never started a career in politics. I can never bear standing in the same room as someone like Rodan. Some of the stuff he says reminds me so much of Rorschach from Watchmen, which I like. Very good. Um, now, is that it? I should be careful with that. What is it? Is that a real Rothko? Wow. Roban must be Rockefeller rich. He's rich. Okay, did we see everything we could? We gotta get out of here. We got a cell phone, which I think is actually really dangerous to take, but that's the protagonist. That might be all I need. I should leave before someone finds out I'm here. Let's go. Hurry. You don't even have your mustache on anymore. My job here is done. Better get out quickly before someone shows up. I'm telling you, that guy oh. is out of his mind. Oh no! Oh my gosh! I hear you, buddy, but you can't argue with the money. Oh no! Someone is coming. Where should I hide? Now I'm walking. Take the stairs. Uh, there's probably not even stairs. They need to be though for a fire hazard. Oh my gosh! They're literally right there. I don't understand why anyone would want to work here voluntarily. Beats me. If I didn't have a mountain of debt, I'd quit this madhouse tonight. And I'd be right behind you. How's the consulting business been lately? I don't want to talk about it. This year's been a disaster. I haven't had a chance to refocus since that nightmare you and I went through. I still can't believe it really happened. I think about it every day. It was horrible. But on the other hand, if old Elmstadt is finally dead, maybe it was worth it. He's talking about this in public. don't have to deal with them again. I hope I never see those. Shh, keep it down. They might be Maybe they were threatened too. Yeah, yeah. Just turn the lights back on and let's go get a drink. This place doesn't have cameras in every hallway. Like, I feel like this would have cameras. <sighs> that was close. Well, now I know for sure that Raban had something to do with my father's death. But who were they talking about? I shouldn't stick around to find out, though. I need to get out of here. Yeah, we need to get out of here. Let's go. Well, I don't know why we're leaving the same way we came in without our mustache. Maybe he put it in his pocket. She think I'm Salvador Dali. Let's walk fast. Power walk, power walk, power walk. Move it. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Hustle! Okay, let me go back home first. Catch my bearings. Whew. Save the game. Judy's fine. I got this man's phone. I'm gonna go... Judy's fine. That's Patricia. I'm gonna go to my dad's office. That's where I have the most privacy. And, um, go through this man's phone. By myself first, without what's her face. A smartphone I borrowed from her band's office. I hope you won't notice. I should give it to Judy so she can search through it. The safe on this. Listen, I'm not a fan of Judy, you know, but it does help my memory to be specific. I'm learning. I'm learning uh, as I mass save games. This is his phone, by the way, so you can have an idea of what we're dealing with. He still uses this kind of phone. Perfectly good phone, solid, indestructible, reliable phone. But I did not realize that we are in the age of smartphones here. I shouldn't make any calls from Raban's phone. It's already risky just having it in my pocket. At least he knows that. He, I'm just assuming, like, he must not know about smartphone technology and how you can literally track your phone. Ken, welcome. Are you in, in uh, San Francisco? D did you text me? You need my help? Did mommy come get you? Where, what, uh, what do you need help with? I didn't change that because you're back. Welcome back, young lady. Welcome back to America. <laughs> so happy to have you back. <laughs> yeah, what do you need help with? I'm trying to f figure out my father's murder right now. I'm on the bus. Okay, are you being safe? What's the deal, yo? You're hungry. That's what, okay, thanks for stalling the game to tell me that. Love you so much. Hope you get some food on that bus. Tell mommy to take you to uh, Taco Bell or something. That's 24 hours. McDonald's. Get you a nice quesadilla. I don't know what your uh, meal of choice is from Taco Bell, but I love a chicken quesadilla 
I love a chicken chalupa supreme. Is that what they're called? Taco supreme. I love it like this. I love those. So, um, let me go. I need to go to Judy's place. We need to hack into this cell phone. Thank you. <laughs> Pressing news. I need you to hack into this. And then dispose of it. All I could find was his phone. That might be enough. Let's check it out. Let's check okay. it. Show me something good, baby. Show me something good. Oh, I'm sorry. I just broke my game. Hmm. Looks like he only used this phone to call his family. Maybe a few mm. people from the office. Nothing out of the ordinary. That's why he felt comfortable so leaving it. Maybe he has a second phone. Exactly. He probably has Doubtful. seven phones. He's got anti-scan on this one, and that's illegal. He wouldn't risk putting that on a second device. Anti-scan? Aren't you scanning it now? Because I have the physical phone. You can't scan him wirelessly. I see. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I can take a closer look, but I doubt there's anything deeper than what's for dinner calls. She is not even trying! Okay, well, give it back to me then. Okay. First of all, Kennedy, you have Popeyes waiting for you. Way to brag. Way to brag. I can't believe she really did that. Mommy is A plus, A plus mother. She really, she really is, she really is her. Mommy is her. Um, checks the phone, it's just a bunch of gadget games. <laughs> just a bunch of pictures of his cat. Nothing else. So this is pretty useless. Though we can maybe look through his contacts and maybe there's phones. Wait, I guess why would I use this with the phone book? But I don't need to call anyone from the phone book right now. So it's useless, this phone. Is what she's telling me. That she can't even scan it, Judy? Hi. You're back. What can I do for I you? I never left. Oh yeah, that's right. I heard those men talking in the corridor about something. They know something about my dad's death. I heard a strange conversation between two men outside Raban's office. They said they were glad my father is dead because they were afraid of them. Yeah. Any thoughts on who they are? The men in Could black. Could be anybody. Unless... No. That would be insane. What? Tell me. Tell me. There was a string of cases not unlike your father's murder back in the 80s. Within a year, we had four or five killings, all of them suspicious. She never similar. put these things together it until now? Back then. The whole force was on it. We learned about it at the academy. Everybody had a different theory, but there was one I found particularly convincing. Which is? Some say there's an underground organization in the city. They mostly lay low. Some drug money here, blackmail money there. But when push comes to shove, they take care of those who oppose them. You're talking about an organized crime syndicate? Some kind of secret mafia? Very secret. The papers ran stuff on it at the time. You can find it easily enough in the library. Ah, a library. Thanks, Judy. I'll look into it. Anytime. Judy's being a lot calmer right now. She was really annoying earlier. You all missed it. That's why I have a save called I Hate Judy. But, like, she's still aggravating me. Because when we came to her and we were like, Hey, Judy, I want to help. Can you please? Okay, it's been six years, right? We haven't talked to her in six years. We're coming out of nowhere. We need her help. She's kind of standoffish, but in a very annoying way. And, and in like a quirky, like sarcasm way. Anyways, we said, Judy, we think the mayor murdered our dad who used to be the mayor. You know, she's like, ha 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 ha. That could have never happened. But meanwhile, she's like, oh, by the way, I, your dad's murder matches all these four or five murders. And there might be a secret organization here in the city. Like, what are you talking about? Why, why, why didn't you say that from the beginning? You didn't believe me more. You were skeptical. But now you're like, oh, well, maybe. Like, okay. Where do you think I should look next? Honestly, I don't know. There's nothing here you can call evidence. And the few clues you have <laughs> lead to a dead end. But if you really think your father's death might be connected to those old murders, go to the library. Read more there. Good idea. I love a good library. What else can you tell me about that secret society? Not much. I learned about those murders from a textbook. And keep in mind, the existence of a secret society is just a conspiracy theory. Nothing more. But you said you thought the theory was convincing. It would explain a lot. But that's not the same as having evidence to prove it's true. Haven't the police ever looked into it? 
Sure, investigating organized crime is an ongoing effort in the city. Hell, the CIA even stepped in after that string of murders. And? They found nothing. Of course they but didn't. What if? They got paid off. Richard, do you believe aliens exist? Yes, I do, Judy, no, actually. Not really. <laughs> Why? There's no proof that they do. There's actually a ton of proof that they exactly. do. Exactly. Thousands of people investigate alien life, and a handful of crazies even say they've met them. But her. no undeniable proof. Same thing here. If you say so. I love a black so and white maybe thinking. Maybe it wasn't Raban at all. Or maybe Raban is under the control of these people. I need to find out more about this. I should go. See you around. Cold, hard, physical proof? That's the lamest kind of evidence you can have. Okay? Because anybody can fake evidence anyways. I'm gonna not even not even gonna get into that. That's gonna set me off on a whole jargon. We need to go to the library. Thanks, Judy. Judy doesn't believe in aliens. She's, she's adding. She's adding to the list. To the list of reasons.